Hello, I'm FBX Toycat, and welcome back to the video. Today I'm be talking about something that a lot of people have started to suspect recently, that I assume was common knowledge, but evidently is not, and instead of the fact that there's actually a second variant of every single map found in battle. So that means that there's not just 6 maps in battle, there's actually 12, and today I wanted to talk about exactly what causes that to happen, as well as, because, uh, you know, it's different to what you might expect, and it's all, I also wanted to talk about uh, some of the knowledge I've gotten from the 4J developers, as well as just testing the two versions of each map myself. So yeah, to do this, we're going to be using Cove for both examples, and showing you the key differences, because this is one of those maps that's crazy different from one to the other and hopefully you do enjoy this video if you do like it let me know because it helps out the channel and let's know you do like this sort of uh, you know thing and want to see more kind of analysis of the, the stuff like this but with that said let's get straight into it and let's start by talking about code because code again it's one of those maps that changes so much from one variant to the other if you look at this variant this is the eight player variant this is a, a very rectangular map you've got lots of stuff going on you've got a uh, you've got a pirate ship on one end you've got a skull on the other and you've got lots of stuff in between again it kind of makes a rectangle with a few bits jutting out into the cave over there and over there, but you can see for the most part, it again, like I said, it's a, I'm going to say it over and over again, it's a rectangular map and it's actually pretty big. Uh, the distance from one side of the map to the other is uh, something like 200, 300 blocks. There's a lot of you know traveling you can do on this map because it is quite big. So yeah, why is that actually relevant to what I'm about to say? Uh, it also because uh, the fact that it's so big is really interesting because it means that there's also going to be obviously you know more size means more chess and it's kind of just balanced for more players. The idea behind having two variants is that there is a large variant and a small variant and yeah, this is the large variant. This only plays for eight players. A lot of people think that it's five plus players, and that was what they told me at the battle event. But um, as, as it turns out, since then, either through bug or because they decided to just change things, if you're playing with any less than eight players, um, or sorry, it's actually it, it's not just even eight players. It's meant to be seven, uh, you know, plus players equals uh, sorry, seven or less players is the smaller version, and eight players is this version of the big version. But the really interesting thing that I found at the very least, also yeah, yeah I, got, I got a thing there. The very interesting thing that I found at the very least is the fact that uh, it's, eight, it's it's eight players for the big map, seven for the small map, unless you have a player in the eighth slot. So if I if I for instance right now kicked whoever, okay, so the last one is that light blue. If I if I kicked anyone but this light blue, but left him and we had six players in the game, we would end up getting the large variant of the map anyway. However, if this person goes and unfortunately he's going to have to for uh, me to prove my point on Cove, uh, what we'll be able to do is I'll show you the smaller version and you can see the massive differences. If you don't pay attention to any of the core elements, you can see a big change. And th th again, the, the biggest example you can see. On this is Cove, because on Cavern, it tries to maintain the same rough look, and it's just, you know, slightly smaller. On other maps, it's slightly smaller, but Cove literally changes its size. So yeah, I'll skip to when I'm actually in the game on the smaller version of Cove, and you can see the big difference. Okay, so now you can see we've got six players in a game, and that means we're actually playing on the smaller version of Cove, and at first you might think, no, it's got the same skull, it's got the same pirate ship, but when you actually look at any more uh, details than that, and again, with this map, it's so, so obvious, you can see just how much changes. First of all, the literal size of the map has changed, and the shape of it has changed too. From being a kind of more of a rectangle shape, it goes into being this kind of circular square. It's, it's neither a circle nor a square, but you know, circular square is totally a, a term we'll use for now. And also, as a result of that, uh, some of the layout of the map changes because although you know they they have kept the uh, you know the ship with the long thing coming out, although they have kept the uh, the cave, uh, they've uh, and they've kept the pirate ship, they've moved them around uh, relative to each other on the map, and they've also moved around the chest. So whereas um, in the cave on the uh, you know the large version, you actually find the chest somewhere in here. I'm doing a little bit of parkour um, on this particular thing. Am I going to die here? Uh, on the, when you're playing on this particular version of the map, this is a shot. Okay, it's knocked back. Let's just scam her away. That works for me. So, uh, on this particular map, you can see it's actually on the outside. It's one of the more devious chests, in my opinion. Like, it took me a while to find this. But yeah, there's actually a chest out here, and it has a stun sword in it. Isn't that nice? So, yeah, that's the really interesting thing to me about this map. It actually changes quite a bit from uh, one variant to the other. And uh, just looking around, you can see why that is. It's kind of designed in a way to make the, you know, if you have uh, four players or you have a 1v1, it's designed to force more engagements rather than I'm all, all the way over here. Someone's, like, literally 200 blocks away, and uh, there's nothing I can do and although you can still get big distances from each other on this map because again it is designed for up to you know four or well, six or seven players uh it still does have the issue of uh it's, it still doesn't have the issue of just like yeah you're gonna be too far apart uh however there is one key issue you want to bear in mind so if, if you're thinking to yourself okay i'll only play seven player games because i like to have smaller maps uh the one big issue that you will notice is because there's less chess for that seven player map so uh, i actually counted on cavern uh with the large version it's 17 chess versus on the small version it's uh it's something like nine oh, sorry it's nine plus before. So it's, it's something like 13 chests, uh, which, you know, that's that's only four less chests. That is a significant proportion less chests for seven players. That's less than two each versus slightly more than two of eight players. And uh, yeah, the reason that's so significant is because it means that because the chests have different spawn rates as a result of that, uh, starving to death is especially common on these small versions of maps. Again, I don't know if it's something to do with, uh, you know, like they, they just don't have food chests on most of these. But yeah, starving to death is a very common thing. You saw I was on half a heart and apparently I had some food on me. But still, uh, there's very little food around and a lot of games when you try and do this, 
will end in starvation, which isn't quite so interesting. So yeah, if you're going to be playing on a small map, try and play uh, smaller games. <laughs> that's something that's obvious. Uh, if you're playing with seven people on a smaller map, you're going to get hectic this. And just to show you while I fly around here, very, very much a different map. I think you've, you you know, you, you can all see that, but this is just so strikingly different because they rebuilt it from the ground up. They had the same theme, they had the same things they wanted to build, but they built it from the, uh, you know, they built it from scratch in a way that I think is, um, you know, at, at least pretty cool to look at because it's the same inspiration, but built in a smaller space with different areas, with different constraints, with different goals in mind. And it's something that I find pretty cool personally. So hopefully you did all enjoy this video showing that there is in fact two variants of each map. I'd show you some of the other map variants, but they're a little bit subtler and, you know, a, a tiny bit harder to spot in a lot of cases. But uh, yeah, hopefully this does kind of prove the point I wanted to show you. If you did all like this video, like it and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot. And let's know you do like the sort of thing and indeed the kind of analysis on the chest and all that stuff. Uh, share the video if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here. I know I've been making a lot of battle videos recently. I will kind of chill that in the next week or so. But again, it's been crazy fun. I've been loving making these and uh, maybe you all do too. But with that said, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.